I recently posted a transcription of John Coltrane's solo on My Favorite Things, which you can find right here. I like to talk about how many pedal points he uses. Here's the first and probably easiest example to hear. Here the B stays the same, acting as a pedal, while alternating with these notes of the scale. One interesting thing is that he sometimes plays that F sharp twice in a row. Just to create a little bit of variety while it's going up and down a major scale. The second example is almost the exact same thing, but he's going to add a note to the pedal. Here, the notes in blue stay the same, acting as a pedal, while the notes in red are changing, going up and down the scale. In the third example, Coltrane adds a note to the pedal and to the note that he's jumping to. So these two notes are acting as the pedal, and sometimes they jump to notes of a major scale, and sometimes they jump to notes of a pentatonic scale. In this fourth example, see if you can hear how he moves the pedal in different octaves. It starts off looking the same. This D sharp alternates with a few other notes, back to D sharp, alternate, back to D sharp, and after going down a few more notes, that D sharp pedal is suddenly an octave lower. After sustaining that D sharp in the middle register a few times, he ends it by bringing it down another octave. Here's another example of Coltrane playing a pedal but changing the octave. Now that you have that F sharp ringing in your memory, I'm going to play that one again and then let it continue. You'll hear him add a second pedal tone, which brings me to the fifth example. On a side note, I don't even know if Coltrane was thinking about pedals at this point, but I think that's kind of the beauty of it. He's gone from those really simple pedal points, seamlessly transforming those ideas until he's gotten here. So after establishing that F sharp pedal, he starts to sustain a C sharp and then back to F sharp and alternates between these two, almost creating a kind of double pedal point. And one final detail I'll point out is that a lot of these pentatonic scales have the same chromatic inflections. So here he could just be thinking B pentatonic, but you'll see those two added half steps in the middle. And it's a really small detail, but tell me if you think this sounds different. Because he does it just about every single time. Let me know what you think, and I'm gonna have to go because the dog's ringing the bell over there. So, see you guys next time. And say goodbye, Charlie.